Hello, this is Giuseppe Conti. I am the founder of Conti Advanced Business Learning, a company that specializes in negotiation and influencing. Today, I want to talk to you about active listening, a core competence in negotiation. And you probably already heard a number of times that listening is important in negotiation. And in fact, a common saying is that we have two ears and one mouth and we want to use them accordingly. So much more listening than talking in an effective negotiation. Let's try to cover three skills that can help you to be more effective and improve your listening skills. The first one, learn how to paraphrase well. Paraphrasing is about saying what you have heard with different words while reflecting the same meaning. And this is particularly important when you are dealing with people from different cultures or maybe people that have a basic level of English to ensure that you understood well the message that they want to convey. Let's try to make an example to see what is an effective paraphrasing. I will say a sentence, imagine how you will paraphrase it. My sentence is, well, last week I was at the Nestlé Global Headquarter to run two workshops on gender differences in negotiation for the International Women's Day. I had a very nice groups and it was a very interactive session. I very much enjoyed the event. Now, let's see how is an ineffective paraphrasing which is too long. A too long paraphrasing may sound like, oh, so you were at Nestlé to talk about gender difference in negotiation on the International Women's Day. You know, here we are pretty much repeating almost word to word to what you heard, which is too much. On the opposite side, there may be something like, oh, you were at Nestlé last week, which is probably a bit too short. So an about right paraphrasing may be, Okay, so you were at uh, Nestle last week for International Women's Day and it was a good workshop. That's uh, the kind of effective paraphrasing you want to be looking at. The second skill I want to try to convey to you is remember to learn how to read the nonverbal communication because uh, there is uh, an amount of information that is coming through you through the words there are much more information that comes to the other nonverbal channels. The tone of voice, the posture, the gesture, the facial expression, the eye movements, all those are sources of information that you can benefit and can help you to capture more, more information from the other part. The third idea is to be able to move to empathic listening when appropriate. What I mean is that certain times during a negotiation the discussion gets tense and the emotions are going up. In those contexts you want to move to empathic listening when you are connecting with the other person also at an emotional level. Imagine you, know, you have a discussion with an important stakeholder and you feel that there is something then how can you move to empathic listening? Well, there is first a precondition. The first is to have the right attitude. So to really be able to move to empathic listening, the right attitude is I really want to try to understand. I really want to try to listen and probably what the other person is saying is correct. Once you have such an attitude without judgment, without a predefined idea, then you can also apply the skill. And the skill is to try to capture which is the emotion that the other person is feeling and then name it. And as you tell to the other person, John, I feel that you are very frustrated by this situation, then you can get the discussion at an emotional level. And even if you get the emotion wrong, you are likely to be corrected by the other person that is going to mention the real emotion that they are feeling. To summarize the three tips for today to make you a better listener, learn to effectively paraphrase, read nonverbal communication in addition to the words, and be able to use empathic listening where appropriate.
If you want to learn some more about negotiation, check our website www.cabl.ch where you will find a wealth of articles and videos and newsletter that can help you to improve your negotiation skills. Thank you very much.